Hello friends, family, and the rest, it is I, Fallen Fury, and welcome back to more Let's Play Resident Evil Remake. Now, in the last episode, we started the LP, I explained some awesome Nintendo logic, and I'm going to explain the, the menu system. You press Y to go in there, you have your gun, you have that thing I picked up, you have 8 inventory slots. Now, Chris only has 6, that's what makes this game harder. And Jill has that lockpick right there. Chris doesn't have that, he has to find small keys, which is going to make it a little more tough, but oh well. Um... Here's defense items. You can have a dagger and you can have a stun gun. You get those later. I'll explain. It. I'll explain it in a few minutes. Here's the map of the area. When you go on the room, you can see it. If you can click the map, I'm pretty sure of the area. Here are the files I have. Stars manual, all that good stuff. Basically, that's it. And then your little thing says fine right there. That's how much life you have. When you're green, you're good. When you're yellow caution, you've been bitten once or twice. When you're orange caution, you've been bitten four times about. And when you're in danger, anything kills you. And you'll notice because you'll uh, limp when you're in a uh, caution and danger. You limp slower when you're in danger. But anyways, yeah. So let's go across the room hall here and check out what's over here because this is the only place we can go to. I figure I explain that a little bit. Oh, creepy hallway. Yeah. Ooh, something sparkling there. I want it. Sparkling thing equals good for me. Basically what you want to do is you want to climb up this drawer, down this place, spin around, push this drawer out, because as we know, Matt, or, uh, any item in this game sparkles, anything, doesn't matter what it is, it doesn't matter if it's an herb, if it's, an herb, if it's a, uh, um, a map, it doesn't matter, keys I can kind of understand, but I don't know why it would constantly sparkle. There's a map of the first floor, would you want it? Oh, yes. And yeah, big mansion, as you can obviously tell. Um, red means I'm exploring, and blue means I explored it, which means I picked up all the items in it. That's a good indicator of what you've done and what you haven't. So, this is about right here. If you've beaten this game before and got a good rank on it, um, you can go through there and get costumes, which I have, but I'm not going to show it. And here we have our first defense item. It doesn't count as an item slot. Um, it basically says when a uh, when, uh, zombie grabs you, you can set it to automatic where it would instantly use it. It knocks it back a little bit, but it doesn't kill it. Or you can set it to manual where you press a button to do it. Cutscene, oh shit. Hey, our second zombie. This is basically just a tutorial of what you have to, I think you have to get bit by the zombie, I'm not positive though. Yeah. Bam! So I didn't press anything, it just stabs in his head. Unfortunately, you can't get those items back. So, just instead of wasting your bullets by killing him, just run away. As we know, when you touch the door, the scene stops, and you go to the next door. Alright, not much we can do here, so let's go back to the dining hall. I'm not going to play the dumb character for the whole game, I'm going to tell you what to do. Because playing the dumb character isn't that good. It makes the game more confusing for you guys. And I want to pick up those. I don't want to pick up those ink ribbons because we don't find a way of storage for a long time. The only reason I picked up the emblem is because it's a it's a long backtrack if you had if you had didn't. Okay, that zombie I'm pretty sure is not here. If he is here, then he's on the other side of the hallway. He's not right here. If you pick if you check Kenneth's body, you can get this tape. It it counts as a file. You, you don't. I hear the zombie. Yeah, he's on the other side of the hallway. He doesn't come after you. I mean, you can kill him if you want to, but you don't have to. Anyways, here we have more creepy hallways with creepy camera angles. All right. Ooh, herbs. Ooh, wait. Hold on. I saw a handgun magazine. Yeah, and this. I don't know how how regular handguns work, or how many bullets they can hold, but in this game they can hold 15. I don't know what the average is or what. But here we have an herb. This is our way of healing. Um, there are three kinds of herbs. Blue, red, and green. Green, heal yourself for 25%. Mix, you can mix them together, which I'm going to do right now. To make a uh, green, green herb, which heals you for 50%. Basically out of uh, orange caution. Red herbs don't do anything by themselves. Um, you can combine them with a green herb to make a super herb basically which um, heals you for full health 
blue herbs cure poison. You can mix them, mix them with any kind, any combination except for green, 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 which is also a super herb mixture. Um, so yeah, you don't find blue herbs very often in this game, unfortunately. But you don't get there's not many opportunities to get poisoned. Basically, here we have an area. Don't walk over that body because he will get up. All right, zombie, run. Yeah, they're stupid in this game. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm good. Pick up this golden arrow because we can. Handgun magazine, dodge the zombie. I don't think I can. Shit. Oh, come on. Let's get, get me. Bitch. Dumbass. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Because zombies are dumbasses. In this game, they're very primitive. There wasn't much about them. Um, what you want to do now is, first of all, grab this dagger. Mm -hmm. Um, ignore the zombie in here for now. Um, you don't need it. You don't do anything with it until much later. Well, you can kill it, but killing him in this game is a bad idea. I'll explain why in a second. Um, what you want to do is go down these, uh, stairs right here. This is a door, so go through it. Um, there's some zombies out here, but in easy mode there is no zombies. Same thing like in that hallway before, there's where that zombie was that almost got me that I ran past, and that wouldn't be there by the handgun magazine. See, there's zombies on here, and in easy mode there aren't, which is weird because it's a graveyard. You'd think, right? And if you go over here, you notice there's an arrow, for, there's a thing for an arrow, um, what do they call it? Arrowhead, yeah. So let's examine the golden arrow, you notice you can, whoops. You can take off. Yeah, see? Take it off. Everything in this game is made to be used for somewhere else in the mansion. I don't get really that why that is. If they, you think you should, you'd be able to pick up like random items that won't have any really use? You think that would be kind of, I I think that'd be a cool like whole trick. But I mean I'm not gonna criticize the makers of this game because they made a great game. Basically, down here is a little um it's a boss area, I'm not gonna lie. You can kind of guess by that coffin. Anyways, but we're going to ignore that for now. Pick up this book. Perfectly fit. Take the book of curse. I will. Alright. Um, examine the book. If you notice in the back, there's a key there. And yeah. That stumped me for a long time. Let's open the book and read it. But actually, it's only you read like a few lines from it. Before mass, mass speaks no evil, smells no evil, sees no evil, and the mass that kind of speaks, smell or see. When the four of the place, evil will awaken. That means, hold on, I'll show it to you. Right over here, these four mask indentations. There's one without a, ma a mouth, one without a uh, nose right here, one without a eyes, or all of them, one without all of them, and one without eyes. Basically, you find death masks, as they're called. And when you put them in, that coffin falls and you fight a boss. Let's examine this key. Let's see what kind of key it is. Ooh, it looks like a sword key. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm badass. Now, if I remember correctly, these zombies should be right at the stairs. If they're smart at all. Yep. But they're done walking away, so... Easily dodging. I don't play this game on hard much, but, I mean... It can't, it's not too different. There's just less items and more zombies, for the most part. I like how she's scared for the first two zombies, but after that, she seems perfectly fine with it. I don't get that really. Okay, where do we go now? I kind of forgot. Hmm. Oh, I think I know. Wait. Map. This is not a blind run. I just haven't played this game in kind of a long time, so please forgive me if I don't do everything perfect. But I think I know where I go. Over here. And another thing about this game that always struck me kind of weird is when you use all the time, like, okay, say a door, a key needs to be used on a door twice, right? So you use the key and the door twice, and then it says, do you want to discard it? How do you know if you need to discard it? So you use the sword key. Automatically. You just push the button on the door. But I think I will save all this excitement for next time, guys. Um 
Thanks for watching. This is Fallen Fury signing out of Resident Evil Remake. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye, everybody.